Hey guys, it's me, Brisa. So today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair with my flat iron. Um, this is my natural hair. I just got out of the shower, did my makeup. So it's pretty straight as you can see. I mean, once I blow dry, you'll see that it, it stays like this. Like, yeah. So that's why I like curl it a lot because I really like that curly hair. But anyway, before we go ahead and start with the video, I'm going to go ahead and show you what uh, straightener I use and what hair products I use. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my straightener on. So for my straightener, I use the Conair Professional Nano Ceramic Straightener. And this is really nice because with the anything ceramic, you don't even have to use hairspray because it just naturally stays. So that's really nice. Um, I know this is really bad, but I keep my, you, there's a little tool at the side where you can like arrange how hot or how cool you want it. And this is really bad, but I, I use 340 heat, so that's not good. But, I mean, those that's how I get the curls that I'm about to show you right now. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you um, this heat protector I use. It's straightening spray. And this is really nice. Before I blow dry my hair, um, I just spread this all over my hands. And I just run it through the ends. Do not try not to get like the roots or anything because then it can turn out greasy. So yeah. And this, I really like this. I've been using this for a few months already and it smells super good. I got this at Walmart. So yeah. And then I wanted to show you um, what shampoo and conditioner I use. I use the Garnier Whole Blends Repairing Conditioner, the Honey Treasures. And it strength, strengthens and heals damage. And these run pretty expensive, like, um, each of these are both like $9, $10 each. But, um, because of the holidays, um, there was this package where I got both of them for $10 and I got like a bunch of little repairing masks from Garnier. So I went ahead and got that, so from now on, you know, after I'm done with these, I'm going to have to be paying like the original price, $10 each, so that's pretty ridiculous, but they worked for me so very well. So... Um, let me just go ahead and blow dry my hair, and I have my straightener on so that when we're ready, it'll be all hot. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, so as you can see, my hair is like super dry now. Went ahead and blow dried it. I don't have a special blow dryer or anything. It's like super old, if anything. But yeah. So, as you can tell, my hair is super straight. Like, I don't even need to straighten my hair if I wanted it to be straight. Super straight or ready. But, yeah. So, let's get started. Now, um, when I first started out um, curling my hair, I would part my hair like that. And then do this half, the bottom half first, and then the top half when I was done. But, um, since I'm more experienced, I literally just go with it, you know, I part my, my actual part down the middle. But, since I'm like trying to teach y'all, I'm going to go ahead and part it just so it could be easier for y'all for y'all to see what it is that I'm doing. I have my clip up here, so. So, yeah. There's our little clamp. And apparently, it goes like that. Sorry. This is like literally my first YouTube video ever. So I like plan on like posting a lot here and there. I want to become daily, but I'm on my winter break right now. So I don't know how like packed I'll be next, you know, this upcoming semester with work and school and everything. So I don't want to like tell y'all I'm going to be vlogging every day and then not because that's like a bummer. But I'm going to try my hardest to. If anything, I'm definitely going to have a few videos a week, so that's something. But yeah, 
So, um, before we go in, I'm going to go ahead and just, like, talk about what kind of content I'm going to have on my videos. I'm going to, um, do things like beauty, makeup, um, which falls on, under that category, but hair, um, I detail cars, so I can detail cars. I go to car shows all the time, so I'll be vlogging, like, car shows. I go to a bunch of concerts. I'm never really home, and when I am, I'll do things like this. But when I'm not, I'll be vlogging like outside of my house, doing whatever it is that I'm doing, daily vlogging. Um, I also sing, so y'all can do like song recommendations and I'll go ahead and pull that up. Um, my boyfriend plays guitar, so that'll be something cool to do. And yeah, so I really hope that y'all enjoy this. This is my first video. So like I was telling y'all, I have my straightener in 340. And that's bad, like I was saying, but if you want it down, you, I mean, it's totally up to you. You you decide what you want. So, I'm just going to get a strand like this, about in, more than an inch a little bit. It just depends on how tight you want the curl. So, what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to get the first strand, and I'm going to go back with, with um, the iron. And then the next one will be front, and then the next one back, front, back, front, back, front. And this just makes sure that ensures that like the curls don't like stick together because if I do them all in the same um, in the same like motion, they'll like come up together and it'll be one big curl all in the same direction. So that's my backwards one. And let me get another hair. This takes me like 10 minutes, like if I'm not explaining to someone. So yeah, it's real convenient. It looks like effortless curls, honestly, but. So now I'm going to go front, I just go down, over, flip, and I, I even pull my hair just to give it more leverage, just like that, see, very effortless. Next one will be back, and I mean, I've been doing this for so long, I don't even like go back front, like whenever I'm doing it, I don't even think of doing it like that, it just kind of falls that way. So yeah, it's that easy. And even when I'm done, that heat protector, that straightening spray that I put on when I was blow drying my hair, you can even put that on, it even says in the directions, whenever you're done styling your hair, just at the ends to give it more shine. Cause it has like oils in it or something. And it honestly does give it more shine. It looks real like glossy. So it makes it look real pretty. I do not put hairspray in my hair, but if you're the person like, I know there are just some people who can naturally not hold a curl. So if you're that person, then I would encourage you to put hairspray just at the end, though. You don't need to focus about, like, the volume at the top, unless you're trying to get that volume. But, yeah. So, what else? So it's that easy. And if you have any questions or anything about like certain like um, straighteners and stuff, what you can cannot use, which it doesn't really matter, but like if you're using a ceramic straightener, you know, that's a plus because it'll hold the curl longer than if you were to use one without the ceramic casing. And um, I do sometimes use like other styling tools like I have a wand right there and then I have a curling iron or like a regular curling iron but I feel like this curl that this straightener gives off is so much more unique than um, than those because I'll you know go somewhere and people will come up to me and ask me hey how did you get your hair curled like that like it just looks completely different than if I were to do it with a wand or a curling iron so yeah I really like that about this and then it takes you know 10 minutes to do it so it doesn't really bother me so when I'm done with this half I just throw it to the back and make sure that I have this straight hair in the front and I just do the same process with this back flip down and then I pull it like that So I need to 
figure out what my next video will be about when I'm going to do it over. The next week should be pretty cool because next week is my birthday. So I'll definitely have something posted on that. So yeah. It's that easy. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this bottom hair. And then when I'm done, I'll go ahead and finish the rest off camera and show you the ending result. Just make sure you don't get your straight, I don't know if I said this earlier, but make sure you don't get your straight hair um, anywhere close to the curl hair because then it could get mixed up and it'll, you'll have like a random straight in piece. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and finish the top and then show you all the ending result. Hey guys, so I'm back. This is what it looks like when you're all done. Super easy, pretty bouncy curls. Um, let me show you what it looks like in the back. But yeah, very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to put the heat protector in. I just spritz one spray on my hand, rub it. And I just go through the ends of my curls like that. And I mean, like I was saying, if you absolutely need to put hairspray in, go ahead. I mean, like I was saying, some people just cannot hold a curl. Um, but I'm, I don't ever need hairspray, so. They kind of look natural, if anything, because they're not hard, you know? As if I just put hairspray on. But yeah, guys, so. This is my first good video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see next. I'll see y'all soon. And um, if you try this look, DM me pictures. Let me see what it looks like. Let me see how y'all turned out. Bye, guys. See y'all soon.